uh, they thought women cannot really do things for themselves. Yeah. They thought maybe they're depending from their husband or from their parents. But I really want to advise uh, my fellow women outside there that women can really do things. I really want to say that women can do things without someone or they can really stand for themselves when their husbands are not there. Yeah. Because I can see an example for myself. When I've not started this project, I am really suffering a lot. Yeah. But now that I've started this project, I'm really so happy. I can even buy something. I cannot wait for my husband. Sometimes if I don't have salt inside, I cannot just wait for my husband until to come to give me money for buying salt. So my advice to you people is that outside there that women can really do things for themselves. Yeah. No matter what situation they are in, yeah, they sure. can really stand for themselves. Yeah. So do, uh, let me take a situation of this project that I'm doing. It's not something hard. If someone asks me, they may think maybe this is something for men. Yeah. But men can, uh, women can also do this project, not only men, not only men alone. Yeah. So don't look at this project as something for men, but we can all do things. Yeah, Even yeah. if men are not there, women can really do it. Yeah. So thank you so much for your advice. And to men, please, you also need to value us women. Of course, yeah, you need, yeah, to, yeah. you need to stand with us. When we start something like that, you need to stand behind us so that yeah. we can move together. Don't always say women cannot do this. When men are always the one doing this. No, 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 no. Yeah, thank yeah, you sure. so much. Oh That's my God. get their water from the stream. Of course, as you can see, we have a stream behind their houses. Yeah. Uh, during this, during <coughs> during raining season, they normally get their water from there. Or we normally fetch their water and put it and bring for them in their rooms. But nowadays, because of the dry season, we don't have that water in the stream. So we normally buy wa our water. We pour our water. We oh, buy you buy, drum. right? Yes. Like in a in a day, we can buy a drum of the water and then they they use it. And then maybe probably up to morning hours the next day. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we get water from. Do you think the water will be enough from the, for them, the drum? For how long is it? Is that water going to be enough like for them? Yeah, okay, because in a day, the normal take like three, like four to five times. Yeah. So we give them, like, we use a bucket, like two buckets for yeah. them. Yeah, so like the drum will take it the whole day. And uh, in like in the other day also, if you can, maybe you can give them in the morning hours, then it will get finished. Okay. So one and a half day a drum can take. Another question that everyone will ask. Yeah. At what age do... Okay, I really want to know about this. At what age do pigs get pregnant, the female ones? Yeah, the female ones, they may get pregnant maybe in five months' time. In others, five months? So yes, fast? Yes, others may take six. After giving birth? After giving birth only five months, then they can get, they can conceive, they get pregnant. Others can get six, but mostly five months. Oh my God. Yeah. For now, after okay, getting pregnant after like in a five months time, for how long are they going to get? Are they going to produce after getting pregnant? Yeah, it depends. There are others that can take like more than two to three months to give birth. Yeah. Yeah, but the others that can reach not that cannot reach three months. Is it? Is it you? You okay? You said earlier on. They, they always give birth like to 10, right? To 10 yeah. piglets. Okay, in the first stage, it yeah. depends on the pig, on the breed of pig that you have. Yeah, because the breed of pigs. They are, yeah, because they are, they are different. Yeah. They are different, yeah. yeah. So in the first stage or in the early stage, they normally give birth to 10 or 8 or yeah. 7. I mean, or 5, I mean 6, 8 or 10. Yeah. So, like, if you have a good quality breed, they give birth to 10. Like mine, always they give birth to 10, others 8 in oh. number. That's how they, they give birth. Yours is a good one. Yes. Oh my God! This is so. This is so 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 nice. Do you think? Do you think I will? Do you think like okay, owning a piggery is really something so nice that everyone will do or what? Is it like? Is is it, is it a kind of job? Are you having any any other job that you're doing apart from this? Apart from a piglet, yeah, I am a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm teaching, but you know, teachers their money cannot really help in the family. So I look at the money that I'm having in that at the end of the month. Yeah. It's not really so, so need helping me in my family. Yeah. Uh, that's why I started thinking of having another project more, I mean, to do for myself than teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so nice. Yeah. Okay, you are a teacher, you know, like it's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit difficult. Like, again, you go for teaching and you come back to, to control these this pigs out here. How, who else do you live in the farm controlling there when you are away, in case you are just away? Okay, in case I'm just away, I have my boy at home. He always yeah. goes to school by around 12. Yeah. And me, I always teach from morning up to 12. Yeah. I also come back. So when I'm away, of course, this boy is the one now managing them. It means it's a, it's a family, it's a family production. It's, it's, 
it's not for it's, it's, it's not for one person yeah okay it is okay it it's is you as own, bad but the yeah. family is also supporting you it's supporting you right yeah, because you don't you don't employ anyone yes, that's what i, I don't, mean i don't employ it because it's the it's a family thing so at the end of the time even if you give out people the family can also benefit out of it so that's why i take that advantage of the boy living at home after 12 i just hell i just uh, bring him into the farm at least to control but uh, there's too, there's not too much work in controlling pig. Let me tell you that's one thing, because even before I leave for my for my teaching, yeah, I I always make sure they are in the rooms, and then they have their places for food. I always put their foods in their places, yeah. And then maybe something that is difficult is only the water, because we always don't give them water in their rooms. They always destroy the water in their rooms. So we always pour the water here, maybe bringing them to drink water, and again taking them back. We don't actually leave them just to loiter around the comp around the what the, the area because it is really very dangerous they are they are destroying let's talk yeah. about let's talk about come let, let, let. giving them water frequently rather than food because with food we only give them fries yeah. like in the morning or in the evening or around 10 and then another one around six yeah so that's how we do and that's the place of the water you can see we always pour the water and you if you pour the water you give them you don't open them at once yeah. You start with the young ones, if they drink, then they go to their rooms yeah. and then you will now bring the mothers and then the other ones will come. Because if you open them at once like this, the space will not be enough. And why we made the space just very small like this? Because sometimes if you, if you make the place a, a bit big, yeah, sure. they can prefer playing with the water and not, not drinking. Like they will spoil the water because they like water so much. Yeah. And this dry season, uh, you will not have water to give them at least for playing. Sometimes we give them once in a while, yeah. but uh, other times we always just give them water for drinking. Where do you get the water from? Do you have? Do you have? I can see this. It's like a, there's, there's a stream down, right? Yeah, yeah. We have a stream just yeah. behind their house. Yeah, those days during rainy season, we always collect the water from the stream. Yeah. But now that because of uh, this hot, I mean. This A kind of job are you having any any other job that you're doing apart from this apart from a piglet yeah i am a teacher yeah yeah oh, i'm sure. teaching but you know teachers their money cannot really help in the family so i look at the money that i'm having in that at the end of the month yeah it's not really so so need helping me in my family yeah uh that's why i started thinking of having another project one i mean to do for myself than teaching yeah yeah oh my god this is so nice yeah okay you are a teacher you know like it's 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 a bit it's a bit difficult like again you go for teaching and you come back to to control this pig, these pigs out here how who else do you live in the farm controlling there when you are away in case you are just away okay in case i'm just away i have my boy at home he always yeah. goes to school by around 12 of. yeah and me i always teach from morning up to 12 of. Yeah. I also come back. So when I'm away, of course, this boy is the one now managing them. It means it's a it's a family it's a family production. It's 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 not for it's, it's, it's not for one person. Yeah. Okay. It is okay. It it's is you as bad. But the yeah. family is also supporting you. It's supporting you, right? Yeah, because you don't you don't employ anyone. Yes, That's what I I'm meaning. I don't employ it because it's the it's a family thing. So at the end of the time, even if you give out people, the family can also benefit out of it. So that's why I take that advantage of the boy living at home after 12 off. I just help, I just uh, bring him into the farm at least to control. But uh, there's too, there's not too much work in controlling pig. Let me tell you that's one thing. Because even before I leave for my for my teaching, yeah, I I always make sure they are in the rooms and then they have their places for food. I always put their foods in their places. Yeah. And then maybe something that is difficult is only the water because we always don't give them water in their rooms. They always destroy the water in their rooms. So we always pour the water here, maybe bringing them to drink water and again taking them back. We don't actually leave them just to loiter around the comp around the, what, the, the area because it is really very dangerous. They are, they are destroying. Let's talk yeah. about, let's talk about come. Let, let, let you come along with the camera. Let's talk about... Hmm? There you are. 